The AVA Foundation is connecting the dots through education, research, and community outreach. Most, if not all of us, know someone who has needed a vascular access device, an IV catheter, at some time in their life. What you probably don't know is that 50,000 people died last year due to infections related to these vascular access devices. That's more than three times the number of people who died due to drunk driving. What's being done about this? Well, there is an organization dedicated to funding research and education to promote the practice of risk-free vascular access, the AVA Foundation. Let's take a moment to hear how promoting the practice made a difference in the life of little Manny and his family. Hi, my name is Beth Gore and I'm the mother of six adopted special needs children. We adopted Manny when he was nine months old and he was extremely medically challenging. What we didn't know at the time was that someday he would end up on a central line that would be his only source of food. As a pediatric vascular access nurse, I knew from the day I met Manny that he was going to require really special care. I had had quite a few interactions with the vascular access team and, and Stephanie specifically, and they had been a very important part of my life and Manny's life. But once he got this infection that almost took his life, where we were sitting there wondering if he was gonna come home from the hospital, I started to realize that my reliance upon them, on this vascular access team, upon their knowledge and what they could do for Manny went into hyperdrive because I needed them. I recognized early on that Manny's lines were truly his lifelines, and that this infection could turn his lifeline into his death sentence. I took the responsibility of caring for Manny and his lines really seriously. I dove into the literature, I reached out to my colleagues in the Tampa Bay area, and I also reached out to the Association of Vascular Access for resources to help prevent infections so that Manny's line could be his lifeline and that he could receive the pure nutrition that he needed through his central lines. Through my research, I realized that we needed to develop a policy and procedure and a protocol um, for Manny, but for all of our patients as well. I collaborated with our physicians and we implemented Manny's protocol. And when he didn't have an infection after one month, we celebrated but held our breaths. And when he didn't have an infection after two months and three months and four months, we continued to celebrate. But when it became one year, it was a huge celebration. During this time, I realized I needed to know more. In fact, I needed to know everything. After all, I was gonna go home and be in charge of all of his care. And she had the information that I needed to know to be able to do that, to keep Manny as safe as possible. We're at 19 months and counting, and we have such hope, and nobody ever thought that was possible. Vascular access is important, and a lot more emphasis needs to be put on it, research, education, and so forth. This is gonna save lives, lives just like Manny. Every patient everywhere across the world deserves the best vascular access care possible, but we need you. We need funding for research and education so that we can provide better care for patients just like Manny. But we need you to help us make a difference. So the AVA Foundation is connecting the dots. Connecting the dots through funding education, through funding research, through funding community outreach. Your generous donation, the cost of one evening out, says I care, I am here to help. Won't you join us in our effort to save lives through risk-free vascular access? The AVA Foundation needs your help. Please donate. Thank you. Remember, no donation is too small.